Hey guys, it's Banna. Welcome back to Hexen DD. In the last part, we went through that area, I believe. Now, I'm just going to do this clockwise. We'll simplify it all. Uh, so anyway, we could have gone to this area within the other area. I'll be checking out if those go to any other places, because possibly they may. I remember this place. I remember going, how the heck do you clear all of it? Also, there's brown lizard men. Um, it has less enemies, though. You can see that. But you can definitely hear a lot, and that's because if you walk up to here, you may, you, will, you may have just been going, like, how do you get in then? There's just a lot of these mage guys. Quite a large number of them, actually. Um, there you go, that's how you do it. Uh, this is weird metal structure. There's a door. Can't do anything about it. There's doors on the side here. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, they pulled this thing again from the first level of the game. You remember the things, the things that turn around and start shooting you. Um, it's, it's weird. It's like, it doesn't even serve much purpose to the game, those things. It even kind of tricks you a little bit, I notice. Is that there's a, if you go behind it, there's a switch that makes it all flip around, so in case if you get stuck behind it, then you can get out. But it, like, kind of lures you in. You see the thing. So you're like, oh, no. It, it's just a bit of a weird trap, and the way they have to try and get you out of it's a bit counterintuitive. Um, so anyway, yeah, so those... This platform's gonna go down. Also, there's a Serpent Rider symbol on the ground there. Pretty sure it is. Also, yeah, that thing starts shooting. If you're standing, like, anywhere up here. Also, there's a lot of these enemies. You should probably know that. Yeah, I know. It's just like, what? Just the... I don't know. This is a weird level pack. It's just kind of tough. Just the structure of it all and all. And all. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. Uh, I... Again, did I say I was going to... Look, at the end of the first part, did I say I was going to look up some of the info about this and also how to get into that door? I haven't looked it up. At all. See, if I had the other weapons, I would totally be using them by now. But no, you you, you get stuck with this weapon. You gotta try and stick it out. There you go. Ah! I'm actually just gonna try and hit him from over here. Die, die, die! There's a couple of guys over here, I can actually try and possibly dodge them from over here. I'm trying to get my potions out, there you go. There's guys everywhere, jeez. There's only 50, uh, I thought there were 52 before. And the problem is I just jumped down here. I jumped down here just so I could get the room. Like, I know that there's these guys all about, but hey. Yeah, I can deal with them. I guess they kind of like move around at times. Also, I don't know what that is. It looks like it's a sword or a baseball bat in there. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. Do, 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 do. I don't think that's a song. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna sing along. Do, 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 do. Even though I don't know the song. Also, you can, also, with the right mouse, I can apparently do the strafe thing. I don't know what that's about, but okay. Maybe it's the classic uh, way to turn, I guess. Put in strafe mode. Yeah, so, um, anyways, as I kept saying, that there was uh, there was a video of these people saying that the N64 version was bad, and by looking at what they said about it, yes, it it is kind of bad, because the level design is a bit confusing. It, it's the same levels, it's just that, like, yeah, it makes sense, because you play Doom, Doom really gets you into it. This game just kind of has to grow, gradually. You don't get all the weapons until, like, a good halfway into the game. 
you know, all the enemies just kind of like, oh no, you did not just respawn the s s swamp guys. You just respawned the swamp guys, didn't you? Yeah, you did. I don't know what he was doing. He was dying. Oh. He may be going also, where do you go? Um, and I believe you just got to get out of the water. Plus you can shoot those guys down there. Ow. Ouch, I fell again. Whoops. Um, but anyway, yeah, so they did bring up some good points. Also, they said that they had never played the PC version, but they expected it to be good, because it's the PC. And that's probably a yes. This game does, like, trying to manage items as well as having to look around and w as well as trying to have a strafe system. For some odd reason, there was no default where it would strafe by default. Also, can I get those guys to die from this? Possibly. Uh, there was no default option to strafe, which is weird because on the PC you have like a strafe. Well, I get, uh, then again, on the PC you don't have the default option to strafe, it's just like a key. But it's like, yeah, on that you have to like hold down like, a, a button to strafe. And I guess I'm, I'm taking the cheap cut because I'm just playing playing a port that has default strafing. Because, think about it, in that in those days it was, since you didn't have two two different sets of directions. By the way, I'm a little bit unsure about like where to go in this map, so I was kind of assuming, okay, well I've got to jump up that ledge, right? Because I can. So I see that statue, uh, and just from that place in the second hub, I was like, okay, maybe I've got to... Ah. Ah. Oh my gosh, these guys hate them. I haven't played enough Hexen 2 to actually know, but also you can see there's a bit of like wooden thing there. So you may be going, okay, where's the next place I go? Do I gotta jump over there? Possibly. I think you've actually got to, like, land on a ledge here. There you go, here's an ledge. There you go. And then I fell off! I'm gonna keep shooting at that guy in there. Um, and then they all respawned. And it's really mean, because it's even these guys. The guys I don't like. Mahiro. Um, so anyway, yeah, so... What did they also say? They also said the graphics looked a bit bad. I think that's just because the N64, it decided to go all bilinear text, uh... N64... Filtering. Made all the textures not square, which... I think giving them the square gives them like that definition, but it also gives it that nice 90s look. Which is just all kind of pixelated and all. I, I love that 90s look for some reason. I don't know, I just love playing a game and just seeing all these pixelated textures. Like for example, Half-Life, I, I wanted to play OpenGL, but unfortunately it doesn't work well with OpenGL. But playing OpenGL actually has square textures. Oh, what did I mean then? It was these guys. Actually... That's a good idea. Die! Wow, that worked. Huh. I didn't expect that, but okay. Wow. Should really be using that more. Um, so we're going to activate that switch. You may be going, okay, what did that switch do? If I go back here, which I have a fireball face here. You see that this exposed itself. If I shoot that, that breaks this wall. And it allows me to save my game on a kind of slot. Alright. As you can see, there are more enemies. Um. But yeah. Uh, what else did they say? 
They said some of the design, like uh, in the Guardian of Fire, which I said was the easiest of all the places. They said that that bit where the bridge breaks, uh, but there was a ledge next to it. They said that that was a really stupid puzzle. Okay, now this one you just gotta wait until it's done and then try and squeeze past without dying from that guy. Or well, that guy. Dying isn't good for your health. Uh, there's a little teleport there, but I'm just gonna keep on going because if you keep going, first of all, you see this. The guy lived. A couple of these guys lived. It's kind of weird that just kind of stand on the water. Uh, I believe I'm just gonna end here just out of pure cur curiosity. I believe it's it was that portal. Yeah. I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. That was just out of pure curiosity. That's how you enter it. Enter it. So technically you can just go up here, but may as well enter. I may as well enter each map like it was supposed to. Now this is kinda weird because you like push that down. Holy crap! Then you stand on it. You're going like <gasps> It may be going, how do you get out of this one? Well I think you just gotta jump it. I'm gonna use one actually, there's so many guys. You didn't activate. Good on him! Good on that guy, he didn't even bother activating. Then I got stuck. Then I didn't feel like activating the other thing. Alright, activate! Activate sesame. There you go. How come they don't bother activating themselves? Also, why did those guys just spawn in again? Still going, apparently. That guy is still going. Also, they're apparently attacking each other. That's good. That's good. Holy snap! Pretty much the 29 other enemies left in this map are just in this one place. Oh uh, gosh, it's so the brown lizards and these guys. No like regular enemies that I can actually fight. No, it's the brown lizards. Uh, I still don't know if the brown lizards are any worse than the other guys, but... Actually, if I can use these effectively... I can apparently rack up a few kills just by doing that. I just walked into that one. Um. Gosh dang these these guys! I don't like them. That's one thing with Hexen. Also, they said that the graphics were kind of dull, and I will say that yeah, that a lot of them are kind of palely brown colors. Like it is a nice looking game. And it does do some pretty cool effects, but like, the general art style isn't as bright as the other games, and it kind of feels a bit murky because of that. For a second there, I thought, I was seeing doubled in for a second, I don't know why. Like, I thought there was two enemies there, I was like, what? I think I was just looking cross-eyed for a moment. Which is weird, because I don't really do that much, so... Little did they know that you could actually lock onto these trees. Uh, so you may be wondering where you're going this way. I'm going to bow. Uh, again, with the Serpent Rider symbol, I'm not entirely sure what that's about, but you hear a platform moving in the distance, and then that face shoots at you, as well as that guy spawning in. Welcome to the show. But. You can also walk over to. Yeah, hey, 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 buddy, 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 you just need to die. There you go. But you can also walk over here. These platforms are really odd. You can grab another Dark Servant! I believe that's like our fourth one in this LP so far. Oh, uh, what do we have to do? Part three? We've got four of these. 
No! No! He did not just do that. Oh gosh. You know how I said watch out for those spiky things? That, that is what I mean. In fact, yeah. They just poke out of the ground. And that's it. They just kill you. No. No signal. No nothing. No, like, sudden hurtness. I'm gonna grab some stuff while I'm at it. May as well. Ah. Oh my gosh, so many enemies. So many random I got piercings. I got pierced. That's my new name, Pierce. Apparently. Pierce's tattoos. That should be some guy's business. Pierce's tattoos. Trademark. Come on, die! Die! You ain't dead yet. How come he deflects with his chest? I love how you're supposed to use them effectively and yet they just deflect them. I mean, yeah, they also said, you know, blocking enemies in a first person shooter. How kind of crazy is that? And I'm like, yeah, that makes so much sense. I mean, why would they, like, block? And then they just, they didn't, they didn't get up to a part where they would start shooting. So, thank goodness that, that they didn't, because they would just really be angry. Okay. I'm just saving on the kind of slot just because I don't wanna get Pierce Brosnan again. Can't pierce me up here. There's nothing on the wall. Also yeah, platform. I should have noticed it just like a moment ago. There you go. So you go up. And there you go. Grab your emerald planet. So you may be thinking, is that the entire place? Well, until they start spawning, guys. I believe there is still a teeny weeny bit more. Just because, one, I didn't go in here. And I think it could be something in there, but I think you need like a fire weapon. And all you get is just like a couple of items, I guess. Well, that is pretty cool. I got it looks like it's just like a pathway to the statues, but it's really not. Also, this door opens. I guess I should have known that. Sorry, I've got a place to go. Sorry, I've got places to go. Okay, so... Okay, so we got that there. I'll see you guys next time on Hexen, where we'll figure out more stuff.